Well, hi there, this is Scott Duffy from GetCloudSkills.com. In this video, I wanna talk about the recent changes to the AZ900 Microsoft Azure Fundamentals exam. I also wanna say Happy New Year 2024 to you if you're watching this video shortly after it comes out. So this Microsoft has announced that this exam will be updated on January 23rd, 2024. So they usually give about 30 days notice to this. So this was announced within the past week. So in this video, I'm gonna show you the before and after, and we can compare the changes side by side. What I'm doing is I'm going into this AZ900 study guide link, and I'm opening up two copies of that. We can see them side by side. So here are the skills measured prior to January 23rd, 2024, and skills measured as of January 23rd, 2024. The good news is that there are not many changes. Actually, if we go back into this other screen here and we look at the change log, we can see that you'll see lots of no change, no change, no change, and minor under cloud service types, minor under Azure identity, and no change on the rest. So there are two minor changes. Now, the introductory information, the audience profile has changed a little bit. They've reformatted it here. The percentages of the exam breakdowns and the titles of the objectives have not changed. So we saw that one of them is this cloud service type. So this is the before and this is the after. I don't see that particular change. They've added the word type into this sentence. So really it's a cosmetic change. It's not a change in terms of topics of the exam. We scroll down to the identity section. So describe Azure identity access and security. And this is where, you know, obviously there's a lot more words here. And if we take a look at this first section here, we can see that the before section is actually kind of longer. So what they've started to do is instead of seeing Microsoft Azure Active Directory, Azure AD, part of Microsoft Entra. They're now just calling it Entra ID and Entra Domain Services. So this is really just the uh, labeling change or a naming change of this Microsoft product. Instead of having it being under the old and new names, they've just got it under the new names. So eyeballing this, there's no other changes except for the Microsoft Entra conditional access that we can see. So in my view, there is absolutely no change in this exam, except for naming of Azure Active Directory to Microsoft Entra ID without reference to the old name. So you, if you are studying for this exam, you've got nothing to worry about, whether you're gonna take it uh, before January 23rd, or you're planning to take it after January 23rd, should be the same as long as you understand Entra is the new name for Azure Active Directory. So that's it, AZ900, no big changes. Thanks for watching this video. I do have a very popular course on AZ900, actually the most popular course on Udemy. And so if you are interested in taking a pass in this exam, then I encourage you to go check out my course on Udemy and that'll just take you through all of the requirements of the exam from beginning to end in as much detail as you require. And I also do have practice tests for this as well. So please check those out. Happy New Year again and have a great day.